Hey guys, I wanted to tell the story of working at a help desk and what it was like. It was an IT help desk for a school, mainly computer issues. So, yeah, it ended up being one of the most defining jobs I had. Mostly because it was so miserable, but looked good from the outside. So I always had a strong interest in computers, got to know some people at this uh, university doing contract work repairing computers, and uh, eventually a position opened up for another spot that was a contract position, paid a little more, sounded a little better. So I went for it, got it, uh, eventually kind of moved around in the ranks a little bit, but there ended up being a full-time non-contract position open for someone at the help desk, and I was told I should go for it. It sounded pretty nice. It had benefits. It was better pay. It was more stable because it wasn't a contract. So I went for it and I got the job. And I spent about two and a half years there. And it was during this time, which I might get to a little later, that I decided I was going to move towards being a programmer. So the day to day was pretty miserable. It was mostly just answering phones, answering tickets, answering emails, and it was pretty much the, always the same thing every day. It was mostly, I forgot my password, how do you reset it? And it's like, you you click the link and you fill out the thing. And uh, that, was, that was like the majority of the things to handle was just that over and over and over. So after a while, we kind of had a script and we would just be like, hey, try this, do this, this doesn't work, do this. And eventually, you know, if they couldn't get it at all, they'd have to send an ID and prove that they are who they are, and then we could reset it as, the, you know, the IT behind the scenes deal. However, there were a lot of other things that came in and a lot of other interesting scenarios we got calls for and stuff like that. So I started to kind of see a more broad view of how everything intertwined because I was like, I felt like I was the connector. I would like connect whoever was having a problem to the right team that could fix it. And, you know, after doing that for a while, you get really good at it. You get really good at figuring out who does what in a rather larger organization. So it was kind of defining for me. I got to kind of play around with, you know, seeing where things might land, basically. But also just going in and doing that for eight to 10 hours a day was not exactly fun after a while. There were moments, you know, there were moments with coworkers that were great. There were some calls that were great. There's some people you'd run into that were great, but the majority of them were just kind of monotone, boring things, just kind of doing the same thing, repeating the same pattern and getting interrupted by phone calls all the time, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I just don't like being interrupted by phone calls to begin with. So probably not the greatest fit for me because of that, but I kind of learned to deal with it. And I think I'm, I grew as a person, became a better person for it. If you get a chance to work at a help desk, I think that you should do it, but don't plan on being there too long. I, I feel like it's, it is one of those jobs that kind of, uh, after a while kind of sucks the soul out of you. Just the work is so repetitive and uh, you, you run into a lot of people that, will like numb your mind with the stuff they see that's so, or the stuff they say that's so obvious, like how do I reset my password? And it's just like, you click the, I forgot my password button for the millionth time. Like why, why do you need to call me for this? <laughs> so there's a lot of that. And it's, that's just one example, but there's like that for a lot of things. There's stuff like, how do I turn off my computer? It's like, you go to shut down, turn it off, you know, start button. Oh, how do I do that? And you click the, start button probably at the bottom left and then you know like little basic walkthrough stuff like that which is kind of a bit crazy to have to say to people after a while it feels like yeah but there are some good ones there are there were a lot of legitimate problems too and those are really interesting i i actually enjoyed the legitimate problems the ones that really bugged me were the ones that were like this isn't even a problem you just have no idea what you're doing uh i guess uh, i guess it's a valid reason to call the help desk but I just felt like I could be more useful than walking people through really basic, obvious stuff. And that kind of annoyed me after a while, which, you know, I guess sounds kind of, uh, doesn't sound so great to say now. feels like, you know, I'm, 
I don't know, something about that doesn't sit right to say, but it was kind of the truth. It was like an underlying feeling, and I, I couldn't really help that I was feeling that, you know, because that's, that's just the way it is. You feel what you feel. You can control how you express it, but you can't really say you didn't feel it if you did. So, I don't know, just taking a step back was interesting. It's definitely, definitely a good growing experience to do something like that. Uh, it really tests your patience and also teaches you a lot of patience because you can't just like blow up on people. You know, you have some days where you get the same call over and over, or you get really annoying calls or you start getting frustrated or you can't get a break because no one else is there and the calls are queued up all, all the way with like 10 people waiting. And it's just like, I'm one guy and I, and you have to like log everything in between calls. So while you're logging the previous one, the next one's calling and it's just like, holy crap, can I get a moment to myself to think, you know, that sort of thing. So you learn to deal with that and to deal with that a lot of times you just, you know, you just kind of put people on hold for a minute sometimes if you have to, because things are piling up. You can't scatter yourself too wide. You just got to be like, okay, hold for a minute. Let me do this. Okay. And continue. So a lot of manage time management became really, really important and just kind of figuring out how to be polite with people while you do that. Cause that's not a skill everybody has, you know, especially more technical people don't always have that skill because they just spend so much time with technical stuff, I think, and less on the social aspect. So yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely worth doing, but not something you could do your whole life. In my opinion, at least not without driving yourself crazy. Everyone else that was doing that for longer than me seemed like it was driving them crazy. They still continue to do it, which I didn't quite get, but I did to some extent. Like it's, it's in some places, it's hard to find something better, but usually you learn so much that you can, uh, find something better pretty quickly. So that's kind of what happened to me. It was also the time period where I was like, okay, I need to go back to school. I need to self-improve so I can do something else. I don't want to do this my whole life. So that's my quick and dirty version of my help desk story. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.